Released for the original Xbox back in 2004, Ninja Gaiden's been heralded as one of the best and most brutally difficult action games of all time. Now in its fourth iteration, dubbed Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus, it brings its satisfying brand of blood-soaked, thumb-blistering combat to the PlayStation Vita. It appears as though the Vigor Emperor seeks the power of the Dark Dragon Blade. black-clad badass Ryu Hayabusa slice and dice your way through all manner of increasingly challenging human adversaries, ugly beasties, and screen-filling bosses. As in previous versions, the responsive controls and lightning-quick action perfectly complement each other, resulting in some of the most rewarding combat to ever callous your fingers. Vita-specific features like unleashing Ninpo magic attacks by tapping the rear touchpad feel totally unnecessary, but do little to sully the experience. <laughs> Save for a camera that becomes cumbersome in tight spots and backdrops that feel a bit bland by today's standards, Sigma Plus feels surprisingly relevant. No doubt aided by the Vita's slick screen, even its visual presentation holds up, from its eye-popping color palette to its silky smooth animations. It's a gorgeous game that has no trouble showcasing the portable's graphical prowess. While this faithful adaptation also retains the original's notoriously steep challenge, it does feature a new mode that dials down the difficulty. The campaign's pace feels best when played as intended, but those fearing they'll spike their Vitas in frustration can at least make the punishing play more palatable. Ninja Gaiden's Vita debut also brings new trial challenges, providing pick-up-and-play mini-missions perfect for quick portable sessions, based on content from the campaign. Ah! It'd be easy to dismiss Sigma Plus as another attempt to cash in on an aging game, but those who have never experienced it, or even seasoned fiend slayers looking for a portable fight, should definitely consider picking up the sword. Thank <laughs> you.